Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this interesting exponential math problem. That is 16 raised to power 5 minus 8 raised to power 4. Now what we will do here? Here first of all, we will change these two numbers in the base to its exponential form. So we can write here this 16 is 16 can be written as 2 raised to power 4 or raised to power 5 minus this 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 4. Now here in these two terms we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply the powers with each other. So here we will use this one exponential math property in both the numbers. So we will use this exponential property a raised to power m or raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power m times n. So using this exponential property here we will multiply the powers with each other. So this will become 2 raised to power 4 times 5 is 20. So this will become 2 raised to power 20 minus 2 raised to power 3 times 4 is 12. Now next we will factorize these two powers. So we can factorize this power as 2 raised to power. We can write 20 as 10 times 2 which is 20 minus and here we can write 12 as 6 times 2. Two. Now here in these two terms we will use this exponential property and we will change these two numbers from this one form to this one form. So this equation will become this will become 2 raised to power 10 or raised to power 2 minus this will become 2 raised to power 6 or raised to power 2. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 6 and 2 raised to power 10. So therefore the value of 2 raised to power 6 is 2 raised to power 6 means we need to multiply to 6 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 2 is 64. So 2, 2 raised to power 6 is 64. Now we will find the value of 2 raised to power 10. That what is the value of 2 raised to power 10? So 2 raised to power 10 means we need to multiply 2 10 times. So 2 raised to power 10 is a very famous number that we most top time using in our videos. That is equal to 1024. So here we will replace 2 raised to power 10 with 1024 and 2 raised to power 6 with 64. So this equation will become, this implies this will become 1024 or raised to power 2 minus second number will become 64 all raised to power 2. Now there are two possible ways to solve this problem further. The one way is to use the algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. And the second approach is to change these two numbers to the sum of here we can write 1024 as 1000 plus 24 and we can write 64 as 60 plus 4. And here both in both the terms we will use a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So there are two approaches to solve it further. So here we will use the first approach and here we will use an algebraic identity here which is a square minus b square identity. So here we will use this one identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So using this identity here, this is A 1024 and this is B 64. So this equation will become, this implies, no, this will become 1024 minus 64 times and the second number will become 1024 plus 64. Now let us subtract and add these two numbers. So this will become here 1024 minus 64 gives same 960 times and here the addition of these two numbers gives same 1088. Now here we need to multiply these two numbers. So here we can multiply these two numbers by two different ways. One is to multiply these two numbers in the rougher by simple multiplication or degree multiplication. And the second method is to change these two numbers to the sum of two other numbers whose multiplication is easier than 
by simple multiplication so here we will change these two numbers to the sum of other two numbers so here we can write this 960 is 900 plus 60 times and we can write 1088 is 1000 plus 88 now here we will multiply first 900 with these two numbers first with 1000 and then with 88 and then we will multiply 60 with these two numbers so let's multiply these numbers so 900 times 1000 plus 900 times 88 plus we will multiply this 60 with these two numbers first with 1000 and then and then with 88 so this will become 60 times 1000 plus 60 times 88 here we will multiply these numbers and we will solve this step so this will become here 900 times 0 is 0 900 times 0 is 0 900 times 0 is 0 and 900 times 1 is 900 plus now here we will multiply these two numbers so here 88 times 0 is 0 88 times 0 is 0 88 times 9 is here we need to multiply 88 with 9 so 9 times 8 is 72 2 7 will be carried 9 times 8 is 72 72 plus 7 is 79 so this gives him 79,200 plus now here 60 times 0 is 0 60 times 0 is 0 60 times 0 is 0 and 60 times 1 is 60 so the product of these two numbers gives him 60,000 plus we need to multiply these two numbers so here 88 times 0 is 0 and 88 times 6 is 6 times 8 is 48 so 8 4 will be carried 6 times 8 is 48 48 plus 4 is 52 so this will become 5280 now finally we will add all of these four numbers now to add these four numbers we will start from the ones position and we will add the digits at ones position so let's add the digits at some position so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 no let us add the digits at tens position so 8 plus 0 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 now let's add the digits at hundred position so 2 plus 0 is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 0 is 4 now let us add the digits at thousand place so 5 plus 0 is 5 5 plus 9 is 14 14 plus 0 is 14 so 4 one will be carried to the next number so 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 14 plus 0 is 14 so 4 one will be carried to the next number so 9 plus 1 is 10 so this will become 1 million 44 thousand 480 so finally 1 million 44 thousand 480 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching